This Harlem Renaissance visual art lesson includes a brief historical background, artwork description, group discussion topics, artist research, and an assignment prompt. Do you know about the historical art movement called the Harlem Renaissance? The Harlem Renaissance included literary, visual, and musical arts within the African-American community which emerged around 1920 in the Harlem neighborhood of New York City. The styles combined African art with contemporary themes, exposing the African-American experience. Let me take you back to just before the Harlem Renaissance. In Europe 1900, African people could enjoy their lives without discrimination. It wasn't until 1918 that the people of Europe and other countries became impoverished and came to America in hopes of a more sustainable life. But can you recall what was happening in America in 1918? It was World War I. Nearly 200,000 African Americans who just arrived from Europe volunteered to join with the USA Armed Forces and the rest stayed back to fill the open jobs in America. African Americans were seen as heroes when they came back from the war, but shortly after, they became oppressed. They were discriminated against and treated poorly by the country. They just fought alongside in war. The African Americans wanted to revitalize their image. They started by using artists to help create a new and positive image for African American culture. This included musicians, dancers, writers, and visual artists. The entertainment, specifically jazz music, attracted wealthy patrons such as Mr. Harmon, a real estate tycoon who started the Harlem Renaissance Foundation for African American art and culture by providing training for professional jobs such as professional artists. While there was an excellent revenue source to this art movement, there was a catch to it. Mr. Harmon only allowed the artists in his foundation to create art to his liking, and this so happened to be African tribal-themed artwork. Recognition started to grow immensely. What once started as only 200 attendees at a Harlem Art Gallery opening soon grew to an audience of 150,000 including more patrons and collectors. These receptions were held in great halls in New York City near Harlem Street. Were these African-American artists truly able to express themselves by painting what the patrons wanted to see? Pause the video to discuss. The artists started to protest stating that they weren't able to create anything new if they were only allowed to create ancient tribal art, which didn't occur in Europe, where most had come from prior to New York. These artists wanted to be seen as individuals and they wanted to express themselves. Artists started creating what reflected the true life experience in Harlem. New individualized life in America, shown in the perspective of an African American started to be illustrated in paintings. Some key artists out of the Harlem Renaissance include Aaron Douglas, Archibald Motley, Louis Malo Jones, William Johnson, Palmer Hayden, Jacob Lawrence, Melvin Gray Johnson, Romare Pardin, and Norman Wilfred. This is a painting by Aaron Douglas called Negro in African Setting, commissioned by the Skomberg Center for Research in Black Culture at the New York Public Library. This is the first of five murals that depict the history of African Americans, from their origins in Africa to life in America in the 1930s. The painting called Nightlife by Archibald Motley depicts a crowded cabaret representing the vibrant African American culture. His composition consists of repeated forms and an intense burgundy tone, along with a vivid use of colors, enhancing the liveliness of the nightlife of young dwellers out on the town. Here, we have a painting by Lois Maylou Jones called Less Fetiches, consists of five overlapping masks representing multiple African tribes, which convey a spiritual dimension summoned by ritual dance. The use of a vivid red color is said to convey the artist's strength and protection from her cultural heritage in the face of prejudice. Discrimination was such an issue during this time that when she received an award from the Corcoran Gallery, a white friend had to come claim it as to avoid the risk of it being resented. Artist Malvin Gray Johnson painted Brothers in the Blue Ridge Mountains, the boys' overalls and bare feet, and the angled picket fence, locate them in a small town setting. During his career, Johnson moved between exploring modern composition and what was then known as racial art, which was art that paid tribute to contemporary African-American life and its ancestral roots. No emotion is shown on the children and the placement of the younger boy leaning against the protective shoulder of a stronger older boy indicates the sibling relation. 
His paintings from this time were noted for the dignity with which he portrayed urban African Americans. Moon Over Harlem A painting done by William H. Johnson depicts the riots of 1943, when a confrontation between a black soldier, a black woman, and a white police officer resulted in a brawl, which ended in burning and fighting leaving several killed and hundreds wounded. Based off of a Smithsonian historian, it is said that William H. Johnson based the pairs of figures at the left and right margins on photographs of rioters arrested by white officers. But Johnson painted the police as black men and the ground is strewn with empty liquor bottles, as if the artist wanted to suggest that the people of Harlem were brutalizing themselves through their own behavior. Palmer Hayden created The Janitor Who Paints, a protest type of painting depicting his own social and economic standing. His use of perspective in the composition identified his liking for abstraction and simple forms. This painting was to simply bring attention to the more negative status of being the janitor who paints and not being known as the artist. Artist Jacob Lawrence created a painting called Bar and Grill. Lawrence experienced the reality of Jim Crow segregation involving the requirement that he ride in the back of city buses and live in a black neighborhood. In this painting, his anger is depicted as it is showing a cafe space being divided into two, one occupied by whites and the other by blacks. This artwork is an emphasis of the two culturally separate worlds. After the style change in the African art movement, the art sales and gallery opening attendance started to dwindle. Why do you suppose this caused an issue with patrons and white Americans alike? Pause the video and have a group discussion. The art being created depicted the true experience of an African-American individual, which ultimately included discrimination and lack of respect for their presence in the country. As time passed, the funding for the Harlem Renaissance Foundation started to deplete, as the start of the American Great Depression took course. In reflection, was the Harlem Renaissance a successful movement? In terms of their initial purpose in creating a revitalization, pause the video to discuss. Many will agree that the Harlem Renaissance was a success because it increased recognition and created a new image for African Americans. America was now more culturally aware of their presence as human beings. Below is a list of key visual artists of the Harlem Renaissance. To further your familiarity with the styles and names of this movement, please answer the following questions. 1. What was the artist's influence for their artwork? 2. What was the artist's style of painting? And 3. How did the artist impact the Harlem movement? Now it's time to create your own artwork inspired by the Harlem Renaissance. To prepare, first choose one Harlem artist and find about three images of their artwork that inspire you. Analyze the art by describing their style, subject manner and medium and then determine how you can incorporate similar elements and principles of their artwork into your original composition. Next, create a few sketches for your new art. Ask yourself, does your artwork evoke emotion, express a specific idea, or tell a story? After you have all of your preparation completed, start to create your final composition. Lastly, after your artwork is finished, start to write an artist statement reflecting on your artwork and how it is inspired by your chosen Harlem artist. When writing your artist statement, be sure to include the name and style of the Harlem artist that influenced your composition. Also describe how you incorporated their style and subject matter into your original artwork. A few student examples from this unit. I hope you learned a brief history about the Harlem Renaissance, as well as created artwork influenced from different viewpoints and reflected upon each other's work during the course of creating. From Catherine Victoria's studio, happy learning.